what is going on guys welcome back to the channel these two ev stocks that i'm going to talk about in today's video are up massive since we talked about them so i wanted to do another updated video and give my opinion on if these companies are still a buy at this price point point. and like i said guys we talked about these stocks only a few days ago and they are already up a lot for grand west transportation group a ticker symbol bus i talked about this stock at about the two dollars and thirty cent range ish now it is up almost fifty percent in three or four days and the other stock is churchill capital corp the fourth ticker symbol cciv and this is the company that is rumored to be merging with lucid motors and this is another stock that is up almost 30 percent in two days looks like we just had a little bit of a drop right there so maybe call it 25 percent now either way some nice profits with both of these companies if you were able to and wanted to get into them when i did a video on them leave a comment below guys if you got into these stocks when i did that video now, if you guys want to stay up to date with the biggest growth stocks in the market, all I ask is you hit that subscribe button and like and comment below if you enjoy this video. So the big question today is, are these two companies still a buy at the price that they are right now? I have some information on both of these stocks and I'm going to start with Grand West Transportation, but make sure to stick around for later in the video because there is some concerns I have with Lucid Motors that you definitely have to understand before investing in the company. Anyway, let's get right into it. Probably Probably the biggest catalyst for Grand West Transportation is this right here. It says, as our company continues to execute on our strategic plan, the next step in our evolution of our company is to increase our visibility in the marketplace. So to sum this up, they are looking to pursue a NASDAQ listing. They said, we anticipate our existing business and new product launch of the vicinity Lightning combined with a higher listing in the US will improve the liquidity of our stock, further broaden our institutional shareholder base and ultimately enhance long-term shareholder value and i have to agree with this 100 because when this company does in fact get listed on the nasdaq it is almost guaranteed the stock price will soar it is going to open it up to so many more people and this stock is also going to become a lot more well recognized now unfortunately there is no date for this yet but i will continue to keep you informed on any news that comes of it but even when an announcement is made of a specific date that they will be listed on the nasdaq when that comes that's going to be a huge catalyst in itself. And when they actually get listed on the NASDAQ, that's going to be another big catalyst for this company. And like I said, I will be sure to let you guys know as soon as any of that happens. But that is the first reason I think this company is still a buy. You know, that is a short term reason. I think in the short term, you can make some big money off this just by holding until that NASDAQ listing. Now, my next reason is a long term reason. And I did talk about this in my other video, but I wanted to put this all in one video for you guys. So you know what I'm thinking after the price increase of both of these companies but the next long-term reason is i just think this company is so undervalued compared to other companies in its class and if we just jump over to the financials we can really see this so we are only going to look at revenue at this time we can see for grand west transportation group look at their revenue over the last several years 2017 54 million 2018 70 million a drop in 2019 to 24 million and now the best part is right here you haven't seen this yet because 2020 is not on here but we know that they have a single order of 40 million dollars in 2020 that will be delivered february of 2021 so that in addition to any other revenue they had throughout the year will be listed here in 2020 and that is a ton of revenue for this extremely small company this company only has a market cap of 260 million this company only has a market cap of 260 million now if we move over to green power motor company again we looked at both of these in depth in my last video so if you haven't seen those yet make sure to give it a watch because it's a really good video anyway taking a look at this total revenue 2017 they had nothing 2018 3 million 19 6 million and their 2020 number is here at 13 million so although they are growing in revenue which is great to see and i'm not saying this is a bad company to invest in i'm just comparing it to grand west transportation for the moment so looking at revenue so 13.5 million dollars in revenue in 2020 this company has almost triple the market cap at over 600 million and obviously a share price at 30 dollars so about one fourth of the revenue they're generating compared to their double or triple market cap of this company 
company. Like I said, back to Grand West Transportation, this company has at least $40 million of revenue in 2020, and I'm sure more because that was only from one order, and they have a market cap of $260 million and a share price of $3. So I don't know, guys, now I'm only looking at revenue in this comparison and not looking at anything else, but by just comparing, just doing that fundamental revenue analysis, this company just looks way undervalued, and it's not like Grand West Transportation doesn't have a good company behind it. Watch my last video on this company, and you will see that this is a big company and has a lot of things going for it. They make all different kind of buses, including electric buses, and are really starting to increase sales. They're a Canadian company, but are opening up headquarters in Washington State as we speak. So throughout this year and beyond, they're going to be further expanding into the U.S., further hopefully increasing these sales numbers. So guys, the can. Conclusion, Grand West Transportation Group, yes, I do think this company is still a buy at $3 a share for both a short-term play and a long-term hold. Like I said, the NASDAQ play, I think will send this share price up a whole lot. But on the other hand, I also see this as a good long-term hold if this company can keep growing and keep expanding its sales. Because as it sits right now, it is so undervalued compared to its competition. Anyway, moving on here to CCIV, Churchill Capital Corp. We can see this is extremely volatile stock. It was at $20 a share when I started the video, dropped down to $17, and now it's back up to $18 a share. Now, we went over this in my last video, but Bloomberg and a few other places put out an article saying that Churchill Capital Corp is said to send Lucid Motors public via a SPAC merger. And just on that news, this stock has run up 30 to 40 percent. Now, do I still think this stock is a buy at that range, at that 17 to 20 ish dollar range? And for me, that really depends on one big thing is this deal actually going to happen or not? Remember, right now, this is only a rumor, nothing is set in stone. Bloomberg and a few other places just put out a speculative article saying that CCIV might acquire Lucid Motors. Now I will say this isn't just any rumor, Bloomberg has an extremely good track record when they announce these SPAC mergers. So it definitely could be true and probably has a better chance of being true than not. Now, if they announce CCIV for final will be taking Lucid Motors public, this stock is absolutely going to skyrocket. A lot of investors have been waiting for Lucid Motors to go public for a long time. So it definitely would not be out of the ordinary to see another at least 50% gain on this company if that acquisition was finalized and they gave a specific date. Now, on the other hand, Right now, I think some investors are still concerned that this could not go through and are therefore holding back on this company until the rumor is confirmed. But if you believe in Bloomberg, and they do, like I said, have probably a 90% track record of being successful, then yes, this company is most definitely still a buy at this price. And it would be smart of you to get in this stock now when it's a rumor rather than when it's confirmed. Because like I said, you can guarantee this stock is going to shoot up if this rumor gets confirmed. But at the same time, if you are not too confident in that and think this deal might fall through, I really would just stay away from this company. Because as fast as this stock could go up if the rumor is confirmed, if this deal ends up falling through, it's going to sink even faster. Now, some other things to consider. Lucid Motors has not had one sale yet. So even if the merge does happen, if you hold this company long term, you are still taking a risk as nobody knows how this company will perform. But nevertheless, they have an awesome product as we went over in my video on this company and really is probably a good one to take a chance on. But in the end, both of these companies are extremely risky. I mean, one is an OTC penny stock that's not even listed on the NASDAQ and the other one is just a SPAC rumor that hasn't even been confirmed. But one thing is for sure, both of these companies have huge potential. And if you believe in them and can get into them early, there is potential for huge success ahead. Like I always say, the risky stocks have the highest chance for the highest returns. They also have the highest chance of completely failing though. That is just the risk you have to be willing to take. So definitely don't bet your life on either of these two stocks right now. But if you like them and if you believe in the companies, I don't think it's a bad idea to throw some money at them and see what happens. Be careful though, I am definitely not a financial advisor and both of these companies could fail. If you are already up 50% on these companies, maybe it's best to just take your profits and move on. 
But on the other hand, maybe you want to take the long-term risk and you really like these companies. That is going to be up to you as individual investors. I'm just sharing two companies that I think have a lot of potential moving forward. I will continue though to keep you guys updated every step of the way on both of these companies. All I ask is to please help out the channel and hit that subscribe button and like the video. Also, make sure to leave a comment below if you hold either one of these stocks. But that is all I have for today guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will be back tomorrow with another video.